sure that the temperature is different on the other side of the mountain? I'm not sure, Angie. I wish I knew the answer. <sighs> I'm Brian Knight, the climatologist guy. How can I be of assistance? Whoa, are you really him? Quiet, Angie. We have a question, Brian Knight. Well, what would you like to know? Is it true that the temperature is different on the other side of the mountain? Actually, ladies, it is. This is because a wind called the Chinook flows over the mountain. Let my associate demonstrate. Using my diagram of the mountain here, we see a wind coming from the left, going right, hits the mountain, then climbs and falls back down and continuing on past the mountain. First, there are some things we need to consider, though. We need to calculate the height at which air becomes saturated. The use of this formula, delta H, is equal to 125 times our surface temperature minus our dew point temperature. This allows us to calculate the height at which air becomes saturated. Well, we already know that T equals temperature, but what does T stand for again? TD stands for the dew point temperature, which allows the temp which is the temperature at which air must be cooled for saturation to occur at a constant mm -hmm. pressure. Since we know our temperature and dew point temperature, we can calculate the height at which air becomes saturated. If we go back to the formula, we have 125 times our temperature of 10 degrees Celsius minus our dew point temperature of 2 will give us a height of 1,000 meters. Back to you, Brian. Why do we need to know this part? We just wanted to know the temperature on the other side of the mountain. Well, ladies, well, first, we need to know this information in order to use the proper lapse rate, which alters depending on whether the air is moist or it's dry. The dry abiotic lapse rate is known to be about 10 degrees per thousand meters. And the moist abiotic lapse rate is 6 degrees per 1,000 meters. Now that we've gathered all of our data, we can begin to compute. In order to discover the temperature on the other side, we must first compute the data at the top. If we start with 10 degrees and go up the mountain, we find that air saturates after 1,000 meters. Therefore, 10 minus 1 times 10, because the flow travels through 1,000 meters of dry air. Then the air flow travels through 2,000 meters of moist air, which gives us the equation of 10, time, 10 minus 1 times 1 times 10 minus 2 times 6, which can be solved to find the surface temperature of negative 12 degrees. Now we must calculate the dew point temperature at the top of the mountain. We calculate this the same way as the surface temperature, except instead of using 10 degrees per thousand meters as our dry abiotic lapse rate, we use 2 degrees per thousand meters. We can calculate our dew point temperature as 2 minus 1 times 2 minus 2 times 6, which gives us negative 12 degrees Celsius. The temperature dew point and the temperature are the same because the air is saturated. We have now gathered all the information to begin to discover the temperatures for the leeward side of the mountain. Let us use our three steps to calculate. Step one, discover the height at which air becomes saturated. Delta H equals 125 times temperature minus the temperature dew point. Using the information just gathered, we know that our surface temperature is negative 12, and our dew point temperature is negative 12 as, as well, so we add 12, giving us an answer of 0. Back to you, Brian. I. Therefore, the air is already saturated, so we'll use the MALR on the leeward side. Now for step 2. Discovering the surface temperature. For this, we use the equation of minus 12 for our temperature, plus 3 times 10, giving us a temperature of 18 degrees. The main reason we're using addition here instead is because we're actually going down the mountain rather than climbing. Now for step 3, we just need to calculate the dew point temperature. So we have minus 12 degrees plus 3 times 2 
Oh, sorry, it's not 12 degrees, it's supposed to be just your positive. Just positive here? Positive, yeah. Equals 6 degrees Celsius. So, there you go, ladies. It is true that the surface temperature is different on the leeward side. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.